Pray in the Holy Spirit, guys. There's something spiritual happening here. I break the power of depression and anxiety from off of you today. In Jesus' name. When the presence of Jesus becomes more real to you than your sickness, you'll be made whole. I have nothing to do with it. The miracles you're going to witness tonight are because Jesus is here. I'm there to prove to you that the Son of Man, the Son of God, has the authority to forgive sins. It will prove to you that He is the resurrected Lord. Many of you have been struggling with issues for years, like the woman with the issue of blood. Over a decade she suffered until she touched Him. She was made whole. Will you just in faith look up to him and say, Lord, heal me? Come on, just ask him to heal you tonight. Jesus is here. He's looking at you right now. He's aware of you right now. Just hands uplifted, eyes closed. Just ask him to heal you. If you're sick in body, just, just reach out. You don't need to beg. You don't need to beg. He's here. Come on, open your mouth. Begin to ask him. healing river flowing through this place. Reach out and touch him. Just reach out and touch him. He's gentle and he's kind and he's merciful. He's willing to make you whole. He's willing to heal. Lifted now as we sing. I stand, I stand in awe. I stand, I stand in awe. Holy God, to whom all praise is due. I stand. I stand, I stand here
Brother Diga, this is Brother Jesus. Come on up here, Brother. Jesus has had a clavicle injury for 26 years. He came, experienced pain. The power of God ran through his body, and God healed him from 26 years of clavicle pain, from an injury, from lifting weights. Wow. And so, so it was on this arm? Yeah. And what couldn't you do before? Well, I had excru uh, excruciating pain, and like today, I don't feel the pain. So, so you, what happened while you were worshiping? I just felt something in, like working. I mean, I don't. It's something I can't explain. What did it feel like? Just repairs, like need to be repaired in my body. Okay, that's interesting. What do you mean, like repairs? Like, did you feel? Some people say like they feel electricity. Some people say they feel heat. What did you feel? I had a feeling of everything. Like, you got a little bit of everything tonight. <laughs> what do you feel standing up here? I feel good. I feel, good. I feel like electricity in my hand. Do you feel the power of God here, sir? Now, what couldn't you do before? Well, I could move and everything, but I just was pain right now. Could you lift it? Yeah, I could lift it. You can lift it now? Yeah. What about before? Was there pain? Yeah, there was pain, yes. Show the people what you can do now. And that was, now that's 26 years. 26 years of this pain, guys. And, and let me ask you this. Did I pay you to come up and say this? No. Have you and I ever met? No. Okay, YouTube, you hear that? And here's my challenge to you. Anybody can come, and if you're healed, you'll get on the platform. Because Jesus heals everyone. I believe it. And, and you know, everyone you see here, it's Jesus healing them. I don't even know who this man is. He's never met me before in his life. His first time meeting. Pleasure to meet you, sir. And let me tell you something. This is the work of Jesus. Only Jesus can heal the sick. Only Jesus can perform miracles. Jesus is alive and well. So go ahead and show the people again, just one more time, no pain, no pain whatsoever. Can we give Jesus a hand of praise? This is Joanne. She's been in extreme back pain for two years and just got healed by the power of God right now. You're, you're, you're feeling the presence of God on you. He's breaking the power of the past. He's breaking the power of the past. That's what I keep hearing the Lord saying. He's breaking the power of the past. What was wrong with your back now? <laughs> I've been having severe pain every night. I had to cut my hours. <laughs> I couldn't stand it. I was having so much pain that the doctor prescribed me pain medication and muscle relaxers. <laughs> and he couldn't figure out what's wrong with me. He did x-rays there he says but i've been having this pain and it's been really bad how about now it's gone i was sitting there praying and it just felt numb and warm and i don't feel anything anymore wow and and what couldn't you do before there was nothing i couldn't do i just couldn't stand long hours at work so i just last week cut my hours you couldn't stand long hours how about now is when when the pain left you what did you feel go through you it just it felt numb like a tingling and a warm sensation in that right here. The power of the Holy Spirit is all over her. Come on, church, stretch your hands toward her and pray. Pray in the Holy Spirit, guys. There's something spiritual happening here. I break the power of depression and anxiety from off of you today. In Jesus' name. Isn't this just awesome, church? Don't you just love this? Yeah, think of, this is Frank. Frank? He had an injury in his back last Monday. And when he started praying, he was in the back. He felt the power of God come through him. He wasn't able to pick up his daughter. Now he's able to pick her up. Wow. So... So what happened at work? I got her playing basketball last Monday, twisted for the ball, went out, I was on the ground, I was in the ER on Friday, I was on my doctor's table yesterday, I've been standing crooked ever since, I walked in here like this, I couldn't sit in the back, I couldn't stand, 
and it was when you said, uh, raise your hand because uh, reach out and touch Jesus. So I stuck my hand up. I didn't feel necessarily anything through my back. I just know that moments later I got up and I could squat and I could, my wife had to put on my shoes today. My wife. Is your wife here? Okay, bring her up here for a second. I want to talk to the wife. What's your wife's name? Amy. Amy. Amy, we want to talk to you for a second. She's out praying for somebody. See, when you, the, when you pray for others, it opens the door for God to do a miracle for you. So she's over there in the back praying for them. So, so he wasn't able to do this. No, nothing. No, he couldn't. She took work off. Like she had to lift my feet into the car on the way here. She had to lift your foot in the car on the way. The car on the way here. Okay, hand your daughter over to her. Now we're gonna we're gonna test this out here. What else couldn't you do? Oh, I couldn't stand up straight. I was like this. What about stairs? How were those for you? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> you couldn't squat? Okay, come on, show come on down the stairs with me. We're gonna we're gonna take a little walk down. Show them and then look at this. He needed he needed help getting his foot in. Wait, wait, how were you earlier? I was walking like this. And then now? your daughter. I want to pray for your wife who's praying for others. Go ahead and just hand her off down there at the bottom there. Look at that. He can carry his daughter after all this time. I want to pray for you. Wow. There's a prophetic gift on you. What are you feeling on you right now? Um, just like a, like a crampy. It's... <laughs> can you guys fill it up here? Yes, what do you feel? Help her up. If she can get up, I don't even know. What did you feel go through you right now? No, I just fell over. I can't stand. It just feels like, like a cramp. Having trouble keeping the mic with you. I don't know if I should get up or if I'm going to fall down again. It's like a, just like cramp. Like a... Spirit. It's the presence of the Holy Spirit. Look at this. Lord, fill her with that power afresh and there's a new dimension coming to your prophetic ministry thank you lord there's there's a new dimension coming to your prophetic ministry i i don't know i i see you working with children impoverished and, and there's a there's a whole new dimension that's going to take place in your ministry lord anoint her in jesus name and everybody said you know the miracles the miracles that we see are a reminder that Jesus cares for us. He cares for you. He loves you. And he wants to touch your life. And what you're seeing here today is only a fraction of the many miracles he is doing around the world. But I'll tell you, revival is here. We're in it now. Thank you for watching Encounter TV. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, help me win souls by spreading the gospel through events and media. Make a one-time donation or become a monthly supporter by clicking on the donate link now.